So the key to a great sublimation is the quality of paper and inks you use. On this side, you can see some of our designs, which are made for the, uh, the bike jerseys. You can see how the color was transferred. This was originally blue and red and, uh, and green. And the color was transferred from this paper to the fabric. And you can see that the, the, the uh, paper now is very clean. And on the back side of that, there's no trace of what the design was. So that basically means the uh, ink only went in one direction. From this paper, it went on to the direction of the fabric. Uh, so this is a great quality. Uh, paper is heavy, uh, it's got the perfect coating. Uh, some other companies use a very cheap uh, paper. I got this from, uh, from another vendor uh, who made this for a customer of mine and he showed me uh, the quality of the paper. And you can see here was the uh, design and then on the back side you can still see some of those colors. Uh, that basically shows the, uh, the low quality uh, of this paper. It doesn't really go from this direction to the uh, fabric. It also goes from this direction to the fabric and the opposite direction. It also goes up and that's going to create stains. It's going to uh, prevent some of that uh, ink going actually into the fabric. It's just going to be wasted upwards. Uh, it's so much uh, it does that that we have another layer of fabric uh, of paper on top of this which is this one that you can see here, and it actually stained the, uh, the paper while it did the process of sublimation. So as you can see, some of that ink is just being wasted. It's not going to the uh, fabric. And that's what you're going to get with low quality and low pricing sublimation. A lot of people are using this style of, uh, of paper, trying to save a few cents uh, in their process, but it's just not worth it. Got to go with good quality papers and good quality inks. And that's all we use at bikingthings.com.